Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. Uh, for lunch, we're going to have some homemade soup, and um, I have a certain kind of bread I fix with that, and it's really quick. It's really just a biscuit dough that's, you know, you don't put quite as much buttermilk in. So I'm going to show you how I fix that. It's really quick and very good. It's going to be real buttery and very crispy. All right, first thing is to put about two cups of self-rising flour in a bowl. You want to sift that. All right, next you want to use some Crisco. Now, while my hands still have the greasy Crisco on them, I'm going to go ahead and, this is a very old pizza pan, so I'm going to go ahead and grease that generously. Okay, I'm going to set that aside a minute. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you the amount of, of uh, Crisco I use. And the butter comes later. I'm getting to the bottom of my thing. About that much. Let me guess and say that's about, I don't know, about a fourth or maybe even a third of a cup. I'm going to put that in the flour and squish it all up with my hands till it gets well incorporated. So you want little uh, things of uh, the Crisco, maybe about the size of a pea, a small pea maybe. And that's pretty quick. Just squish it all up. Now, when I put the buttermilk in, I don't really have a measurement because it, it's, it's really dependent on how fast the flour soaks everything up. So I'm just going to pour it in. Again, this is whole buttermilk, just like what you would use to make southern biscuits. Now, I'm going to pour it in. That's probably three-fourths of a cup right there. That might be enough because I want it you know, not as watery as biscuits would be. See, I'm squishing it all up with my hands. All right, that looks about right. So that was probably about three-fourths a cup of buttermilk. Now I'm going to wash my hands really quick here. Be right back. the camera on even while I was washing my hands just to show you how quick this is going to be. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is go into my flour bag and get out some flour and just kind of put it all over this little dough here and then try to get it up out of there. I need a little more. Just in a ball like that. I'm going to do this pretty quick. Now I'm going to just put it down on my pan and just mash it out really flat. I'm going to do this very quickly. Put a little more flour on it. And I'm going to show you what to do at the end that makes this a really crispy, buttery type of bread. And it just goes really super, super well with soup. And it goes very well with something like spaghetti. A little more flour on there. Just mash it all out. Just use both hands. Now, I'm going to bake this in the oven at 450 degrees on the middle rack for probably about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out of the oven, put butter all over the top of it, and then I'm going to put it back in the oven for probably about 3 minutes, just until that butter on top of it gets really bubbly. Alright, I've already got my oven on, so... See how I mashed that out? Almost looks like pizza dough, doesn't it? All right, we'll be back as soon as this uh, is done. All right, my bread is pretty well done and somewhat browned on the top. 
Now I'm going to put some butter on it. I'm going to put a whole bunch of butter on it. Right on the top of it. This butter has been sitting out a little bit, so... Got a lot of butter. A lot, lot. Just uh, squish it all around as best you can. You can see it's already brown around the edges. It's like a big cookie. But it is so, so good. Oh. It works really, really well with soup. Alright, now I'm going to take This is my pastry brush, okay? I don't use the other kind because I feel like they never get clean. So see all the different edges I've got there? It's just one paper towel. And I'm going to take it and squish it all around on here. Get that butter all melted in. Now, after I spread this out really good, I'm going to put this back in the oven. We'll say for three to five minutes. You might even want to put it put the oven on broil. I've done that before. And let that butter get all bubbly on top. And it really clarifies the butter so you get a really uh, very good buttery taste on this. Okay. My, my little pastry brush I can throw away now. Alright, I'm going to put this back in the oven for three to five minutes and we'll be back. Okay, here's the bread. The butter is kind of all soaked in and it's gotten all crispy. Now we're going to cut it with a, just a traditional pizza cutter. And I generally cut it into six pieces. Now, here's the secret way to keep it crispy. Just flip it up on a little wire rack. Because if you leave it sitting on the pan, it will suddenly become uncrispy on the bottom. So, it's very hot. All right, there you have it. We'll call that crispy soup bread. Okay, see you next time.